Hey everyone, it's Tommy from TechNexus, and thanks for joining me on today's video. I was reminded by an ex Autodesk colleague about um, trying to do uh, cable tray uh, and or ductwork in plants that actually looked a lot more like what it would look like in the real world. So we, we talked about options. AutoCAD MEP um, only displays it on the, the fittings. Um, Revit, I guess, could do it, but the families we were using weren't that way inclined. They were, again, probably more generic. Um, and as, as we were looking through the uh, AEC collections, I realised that Fabrication CAD MEP is now included in it. And it, it was part of, I think, an acquisition a few years ago through Autodesk and it came with Camduct and Estmap um, sort of as a group. I think you can still buy them uh, as that sort of that, that, that group. But within the collections, you do get access to CAD MEP. And then we, we started having a play around with it and realized that it was going to suit his needs. So when you do fire it up, and I think this was deliberate, is that it does, it uses the same configurations that you can in Revit for fabrication parts. So I think this is the, the, the beautiful thing is using the, the same catalogs mean you can go from an AutoCAD session to a Revit session without losing the data. So when you do fire up CAD MEP, you do get this option. Uh, I'm just gonna click OK to load it. And it attaches itself to the last AutoCAD session that you ran. So if you're in plant, it'll be running inside plant. Um, if you're in AutoCAD, it'll run inside AutoCAD. If you're in Civil, it'll run inside Civil. And then you're presented with these pallets down the side here. So they'll switch between whatever um, you decide to, to use as your libraries. So we were going through and just having a look at the different ones for electrical. So there's a busway and a ladder, and this is what he was more interested in, was using this uh, type of ladder arrangement because it looked... Uh, real when you modeled it. So same thing with the wire basket here uh, and the wire way doesn't look like what he wanted but the wire basket and the ladder were more what he was after. So uh, this is basically what we did. So inside very similar to uh, AutoCAD MEP we XREF in our uh, plant 3D structural model to get an idea on where we need to place the model or the beginning of the MEP model. And then I just started routing a couple of uh, ladders in here. So 450 by 150, go okay. And then I'm going to, let's just put it here somewhere and say that it's uh, 8075 because I want it at the top level. And then I'm just gonna rotate that around. So now if I look at it from the front, you can see it's sitting at the top of that pipe rack there. And if I go to 3D, then again, I can go through and just uh, shuffle it down a little bit. So all of this, is, these arrows mean this is where it's going to add the next element. So if I just keep adding more straights, then we do get some straights. So I can throw in a horizontal T and start throwing in some more straights there as well. And what I'm gonna do is just go back to my home view. And I'm going to go and place some wire basket. So same thing, uh, wire basket is going to go, let's make it a bit bigger, 600 by 100. So I've got a mismatch there, but I've just thrown it on the end there just to show that there is uh, going to be another Y basket. So I might even, let's have a play around with uh, throwing a T in there. Okay, and then adjust that. And let's see if we can throw an offset. There we go. And a couple more straights. Okay, so let's see if we can move this out of the way a little bit. So we'll just shuffle that down. So they're the two ideas that he wanted for the 
electrical cable tray on his plant project. So I'm just going to detach that. And like everything, save as, stick it on the desktop, uh, 00-MEP-0002. I'll call it CAD MEP just so we know what it is. And then I'm going to close it. Jumping into plant, as usual, copy drawing to project, add it to the uh, project directories, and then it becomes part of uh, Plant 3D. So we've got it in there as 00 CAD MEP. So just to show what it looks like uh, in an ortho view, so I go new drawing, I'll call it 200. So same thing as we do with the other disciplines, I'm going to do a new view and I'm going to throw in the CAD MEP file plus the pipe rack that it sits on. Okay, so now we it's probably a bit hard to see, but you can just sort of make out that there's the wire basket and the ladder there. And I want to look at it from the top at, let's go 1 in 50. And let's do no hidden lines and go OK. So there you go. So there is, if I turn line weights off, and you can see there's the actual cable tray on, on how it looks, and there's the, the wire one as well, the wire basket. So again, there is an option if you are using the AEC collections to do your plant modeling and you want your cable trays and ladders to look real, have a look at using Fabrication CAD MEP. It's quite simple in its use. If you want something to be represented, uh, then you can see it there. And we did some testing with Navisworks as well. They do appear in Navisworks, so your models will uh, have real life, uh, real world looking cable trays and, and baskets and whatnot there. So if, if you've got a client who's specific in their needs for the viewing, then have a look at CAD MEP uh, for the cable trace and ductwork and whatever else you need. So hopefully it's been informative for you. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, but please do subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell icon to get daily notifications of all of my videos, and I will see you tomorrow for some new uh, fancy tricks and maybe some more 2020 products, but uh, I'll see you then. Ciao.